guys it's Dave here bit of a different video this time uh, beginning of the year uh, I was doing a two pound coin run out of a 500 quid bag uh, and I was lucky enough to get my hands on a Commonwealth two pound coin the Northern Ireland this uh, the lowest minted one at 485,500 uh, and I sold it on a few months later for 42 quid um, and I was thinking about it uh, a few weeks ago um, and the question I've got for you guys, if, if you put £2 in your current account today, how long would it need to be there for the balance to show £42? Can have a bit of a guess, have a bit of a think. 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years. So I found a online compound interest calculator and we'll do this together and it's quite interesting. So we've got two initial balance of £2. We're not going to put any in extra a year. We've got the stunning interest rate as a UK current account or 0.01%. And I'm going to start off with 50 years. That's how long most of us are going to have to work. So you've got this £2 in your bank account and after 50 years at 0.01%, you've made a penny. That is absolutely astounding. Uh, it just goes to show we're, we're getting absolutely no returns back from the bank. I'll digress a bit here, but in the same period of time, if you opened a bank account uh, and it was minus £2 a year, there'd be other charges on top of that, but the bank would then charge you 39.9%. There would there'd be all sorts of spurious charges on top, but, but purely in terms of compound interest, at the same period of time, the bank would give you one penny for one account being positive two pound. And if you were negative two pound for 50 years, that would be 39 million quid. It's absolutely bonkers, that. But I've digress a bit here. So we'll go back to the original question. And that was, if you had two pounds in your current account at 0.01%, how long would it need to be there? So 50 years didn't touch the sides. Uh, if we go 500 years now, 500 years. In 500 years, you've made 10 pence. That is absolutely crazy. And we need to now start thinking much bigger. So let's go back 2020 years, the birth of Christ. So if one of the, one of the three wise men give Jesus a two pound coin on his birthday and he put it in the bank for him, this is in jest, but you put it in the bank for him and it's in the bank for 2020 years at a compound interest rate at 0.01%, he would have made 45 pence. So poor little Jesus, for all his struggles, his two pounds got him 45 pence in over, over 2000 years. So we need to think much bigger than that. We've not even, we've not even touched a fiver. So we'll have a look at 10,000 years now. The, I know these, these years now are just getting ridiculous, but I hope this is highlighting something here. So after 10,000 years, that two pound is worth five pound 44. If we go, if we go 20,000 years, we, it's getting there. So after 20,000 years, your initial two pound at 0.01% will, it will now be worth 14 pounds and 78 pence. I know money won't exist then. I think by then we would have about 10 different other currencies by then, but we're just doing this purely for fun over a time scale. I already know the figures. So if anybody got close to this, congratulations. It's 30,446 years for two pounds to become 42 pounds at a compounding interest rate at 0.01%. That is absolutely balmy. Uh, and I hope that highlights the absolute disparity in terms of what you're receiving from the banks in terms of your hard-earned money being in there and the absolute magnitudes more they charge you for going slightly overdrawn or, or what have you. So I hope that's been a bit thought-provoking. The answer is don't go overdrawn. Uh, but the initial answer here is just under 30,500 years to make 40 quid from the bank. 
So thanks for watching. I'm going to do a few more like this now because there's a few other things which have which has sparked my interest. I hope it's been interesting and not bored people to death. So I'll see you again soon, guys. Set up.